Well, Kendall, like I said, it's, it's been a while since we talked. But I mean, I'm sure we'd like to be under better circumstances. A couple couple losses coming in. What's what's that stretch been like for you, man? Has it, has it been difficult? Um, what do you mean difficult? Like, just, deal, like, just dealing with the losses. Do, um, uh, yes and no. Like honestly, like um, uh, I was in good condition, good shape, physically ready. Um, Shlomenko, I no, I lost. I like fuck, you got me. <laughs> My liver still feels it. Um, but. <laughs> Um, my last fight, I, I did everything right, but uh, and John also did too. Like uh, I hate making excuses, and this is not an excuse. I'm just saying where my state of mind was. I lost my dad unexpectedly, like fucking like two, three months uh, before that. I did his service. I did everything. I was keeping it together for my family, my brother, my sister. Uh, I had to put on his um, service. I honestly never cried. Like, I cried, but I never really let it out, you know, and I, I, and I never really had a chance to. And I took the fight because I was like, okay, I want to win one for my dad. Like, you know, maybe I did it premature, you know, like maybe like, fuck it, John Salter. I didn't respect him enough. I knew I, I respected him, but I didn't, you know, like I felt like my will and my heart and my, uh, my motivation of me winning one for my dad will fucking overcome. And, um... It's just uh, going into, like, after weigh I cried my eyes out just because I talked to my dad every fight. I talked to my dad. Even before that, uh, when I fought Shlomenko, my, uh, uh, my grandfather passed away. And then before that, my, my brother passed away. So uh, within a year, I lost three key figure male role models, figures who I respected, who I loved to death. And just dealing with that and my brain, I, I can honestly tell you, like, I wasn't mentally there. Like, uh, physically, I could have fought anybody and possibly won. But just mentally, I was just, fuck, I wasn't there. To tell you the truth, I, I just, but. I, Did you think about pulling out at any point? Did you think, man, I am not in a condition to fight right now? Um, honestly, no. Like, I, I, and at the, I thought I was good, but it's just, afterwards, I, then I grieved. You know, then, then I had a chance to, like, fucking grieve because <laughs> Funny but not funny story. Um, going into that my last fight, I had my dad in ashes in, in a cylinder. Um, <laughs> wait till you hear this. Fucking, we're Native American. My my grandfather's from Oklahoma. Uh, straight white Oki. Um, 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 we're Native. We're, we're Cherokee Indians. We're degenerate gamblers. We're on an Indian casino. Perfect. Okay. Kendall, you're up. Put on my dad. He's right here. He's on. I fucking walk out. Salter's right there. He goes out first. I'm standing right here. Okay, de-robe. Okay, fucking boom. Take off the necklace. Only the top of the cylinder. My dad's gone. So right there, I give my chain to Big Pygmy. You know, Big Pygmy. I give him, he's right there in my corner. He's one of my teammates when I'm out in, um, in Oklahoma with Rafael Lovato, who's been a fucking unbelievable help to myself uh, and to my game. And um, I give it to him. I take off my shirt. Then my head's not in the fight. I'm like, where the fuck's my dad? You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. I, I start looking around. I'm like fucking running all the way down the hall. Salter's fucking music is going. He's playing. And then they're like, Kenna, oh, what's going on, bro? What's going on? I was like, nothing. Let's go. Walk up to the spot, go out, fight. As soon as, brah, <laughs> stood up. Oh, shit. Everything went. <sighs> I sit up. I see Salter walking. I see Big John. I was like, fuck, what happened? And right there, he looked at me, kind of gave me a nudge. And I was like, fuck it. I know what happened. Right there, I get up. Okay, whatever. I look at all my cornermen. They're like, fuck. You know, like any any good friend would do, like hey, fuck it, like you know, like. But I'm looking at Rafael Lovato Jr., one of the most decorated grapplers who I've been in camp with, who, who, I, the whole camp I've never made that mistake. Every time I've been in that position, I went to guard. Look at Salo Rivero, a guy, who, like you know, like fucking Mount Rushmore of grapplers, and I I'm over here, I get choked out. By who's arguably a great grappler, you know, and I have nothing but respect for John. I, I wish him nothing but the success. Raise his hand. Fuck. Boom. I'm gone. Out. Next half an hour, I'm in the back looking for my dad. Where the fuck are you? 
where the fuck are you? Then finally, I, I was like, oh, shit, I got to call my wife. Call my wife. I started crying on the phone. Like, she's like, oh, that's all right, babe. That's all right. Fuck it. Like, fuck it. You don't have to. And I was like, I, I don't give a fuck. I lost my dad. I lost Papa E. And she's like, wait, what? I was like, yeah. Then I told her the story. She's like, oh, my God. And I was like, I got to go. I just called you to check in. I, I'm fine. I'm good. But I'm just finding him. So right there, I end up going. I end up finding him. His ashes is gone, though. I found the cylinder. But I just thank God for the staff there who was fucking um, supportive. And, like, I met the head lady of the casino that ran the thing. And she's like, give me your number. We will not stop looking for it. Da, 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 da. And I just thank God, like, an hour later, I found it. Uh, right before I went upstairs. And I was like, hey, thank you, guys. And, like, sure enough, there's guys with flashlights looking around the whole, from, from my dressing room to the front. And I was like, it couldn't have gone far because I just walked right there. It was on right there. And then, but then, <laughs> we're degenerate gamblers. <laughs> we're Native American. And my, my father's roots is from Oklahoma. So I, I, I thought, it, I, thought right I like place. to believe that it was him that unscrewed himself and, Fuck yeah. He's like, I'm good, son. I got booze, I got gambling, and every once in a while I got hookers. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, man. Yeah. Well, it's, no, I'm, but like, I, 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 that's just me yeah. telling you straight. Like, physically, I was in the best shape of my life. Like, I was, I had a great camp with Raphael, but I was just telling you where my mental state was at no, that time, you know? But like, I lost. I, felt, I went in there. I could have easily said, hey, fuck this, but I, I, I'm not good. But, you know? I, I did it, and that's what happens. I got choked out. Fuck it. Now, here I am right now. Say, have you had time? I mean, that's a lot of yeah, loss. No, have you had time to process it and get your head back to yeah, the Yeah, I, I made peace with it. Um, you know, um, 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 yeah, I just, I, I have conversations with my dad, you know, obviously, but um, I just told him, okay, fuck it. Stop, stop being a dick. Uh, let me be cool, you know, stop making me all emotional. And then, like, I haven't been. You know, like uh, not once. Just in the beginning of this, I, I almost teared up when I was about to tell you the story. <laughs> but other than that, like, no, I'm good. So I, I know I'm good. I know I'm good. I know I can go out there and do my thing the correct way. Very but nice. um, yeah, excited. Um, can't wait. You know, get back in there. I'm coming off of two losses. He's coming off of four, uh, which I thought he won his last one, uh, hands down. But it did go to decision. You know, there was ups and downs. He did drop them more. And, um, but he is coming off of four. I'm coming off of two against Shlomenko and John. And, um, I have no choice but to think we're a fucking chopping block, both of us, you know? So I, like I told Big John, I, I, in my career, I've done well when my back's against the wall. I, I, like a fucking scared lion, you know, don't, don't fuck with me because, I got six kids. I need this job. Well, exactly. <laughs> Talk about kind of where you're at right now because, I mean, obviously you've been doing this game for a long, long time. You've come up on like 15 years as a yeah. pro. Um, you're a family man. you got a big yeah. family. I mean, well, where, where are you at? Yeah, you know, a lot of fighters are like, oh, don't talk about retirement until you retire. I'm almost done. I'm going to fight out this contract and probably be done. This might be my last one. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. You know, it's just how I feel at the time. Will I make a rational decision? We'll find out. No, but uh, I'm happy with what, what I've done in this sport. What, I think I'm, if you build a Mount Rushmore for Hawaii MMA, I think I, I represent Maui well. <laughs> 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 Fucking Max. <laughs> no, no, no um, but he's doing well, you know. But I like to believe that um, Egan and Ensign kind of paved, Falanico, uh, Ronald John kind of paved that way. Uh, we, uh, obviously, BJ. BJ was that new breed. And I came right after BJ, and then now Max, Yancy, Russell, uh, yeah, L Lewis, all these guys, uh, and the best is yet to come. But uh, I feel uh, fucking 15 years in this game is a long time. Add on a wife. On top of that, boom, throwing six kids. Three in school, three out of school. You know, uh, 12 to one years old. And um, they're all active in sports. I'm a hands-on father, um, which um, helps me and also hinders me at some times, you know. But my kids didn't ask to be here, 
you know. So I got to take care of them, and I'm doing it the best way I know how. You still love the sport right now? Or I still – no, no, hey, fuck. I, I would love this sport to the day I die. But I'm happy with what I did. Like, like I don't know if it's, it will hinder me or people will think less of me if I say I don't give a fuck about a title. That's fucking out of reach. I'm – like, this game is young bucks, you know? Like, like I've been knocked out X amount of times. You know, I've been choked out X amount of times. I had wars X amount of times. My body doesn't react the same way like how it did 10 years ago. Like I said, people might look at this and be like, ah, oh, he's fucking done. Maybe I am. But I get to do it again tomorrow night. <laughs> so go fuck yourselves. Don't hate. I'm still doing it. So what's on the line but, here for you then? I mean, what's is this about just having fun? Or do you feel like there's there's consequences? Or? Uh, there are, yeah. Like I said, there is. Like I, I came off of two losses, you know. I got finished my bull fights. Like and like I can't justify it by saying that oh it was from but it was from Schlamenko, who was the former champ. Oh, it was from John Salter, who's fucking um, the number one contender. Like, you still lost, asshole, you know? And uh, in, in the game of competitive sports, winning is everything. I've tasted that. I've been on the receiving end of that. I've seen sponsors want to give me everything, back me. I lose. They turn their backs on me. They fucking, on to the next one. I ain't hurt feelings. Maybe a little, but I, not too much. But I understand, that's the game. Like, fuck, if you can't handle the game, get the fuck out. I stayed in this game for as long as I could for me. And I dealt with it the way I dealt with it because the way I am. And, you know, like I said, fuck it, I got one more tomorrow. But... I got two more after that on my contract, so we'll see. You know, uh, who knows? I might dust this fucker in the first round. Boom, I might dust the next one. Boom, next one. Oh, yeah, you want a title fight? Let's resign. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, you know, again, roller coaster. But I came into this sport because I love fighting. I enjoy fighting. I enjoy competing. I enjoy stepping in there, asking to fight the better guy. Well, this time I, I had no choice but to fight AJ, but... Throughout my career, I've always, I asked for Alan Belcher. I asked for Evan Tanner. I asked for Jason Day at the time. I asked for all these good guys, you know. Um, um, Tim Bolch, even though, Damian Maia. I was like, fuck, I want to fight Damian Joe. Like, I, I forget who else he offered me. He offered me two people. I was like, I want fucking Damian Maia. No, 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 never Bisbee. That's my boy. <laughs> Why are you trying to draw heat? No, nah. uh, nah, Bisbee is a brother to me you know he's like i i always i always say i i credit a lot of my back end of my career to him you know he reached out he 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 asked how you doing bro i was like ah oh, fuck not so good man i i need help he's like well just call me and then for i i've been with him since the brian stand he flew me out paid for everything even this fight i, I flew out a week uh last friday uh two fridays ago um stayed at his house um, fucking never have to worry about nothing, you know. He took care, of, like he. Um, but, but we got that bond from the show, and like we've always been cool, you know. And like I'm indebted to that guy forever, uh, personally. Like we hang out, like he comes on vacation, we hang out. My my wife's cool with his wife, our our kids are cool with each other. So like, um, I love that guy, you know. And uh, I I like to credit him for, me being here still yet, you know. And um. Thanks, Mike. As you say, Kendall, you're both top three winners. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that, you know, just looking through your career, and, and obviously uh, it was UFC up since 2011, and then Bellator since 2013. In between there, you fought in nine different organizations, I think it was, <laughs> yeah. Um, Poor. I think it's a 40 second fight now. Yeah. Um, Making me blush. No. Yeah, baby. Um, the, the, you know, looking back on that, you're saying you might end now. You're not sure. You still love fighting. You, you you'll never lose that warrior. You know? Yeah. What, what, what are I got four daughters, bro. I'm gonna fight forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or send a rock to the Yeah. I'm yeah. oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> but no. But what? Are, 
what advice would you impart to people who are beginning on that journey now? What's the what what are the things that you're learning along that way? Honestly, be sm be smart. Listen to your body. Don't take every fight that like like you know what I mean. Fight within your means. You know, like, because some fights I think is like, what the, f why did I do that? Like, that did not help you one bit. But, but the balls in me yeah. was like, like my whole career, I, I, I told myself, like, if they wrote a book about your life, would someone buy it and read it and think it was interesting? Mm -hmm. So that's how I lived my career. That's why I asked to fight these guys. Like, guys thought I was crazy for, like, I remember my, my coach at the time was like, oh, we fight. I was like, oh, I asked for Alan Belcher. <laughs> like oh yeah he's like seeing the look of like defeat in his face and I'm like fuck you I'm gonna win this fight And but that look helped me you know motivate myself you know to go out there and have a good game plan because I knew I was up there too you know I, I knew I knew he would look past me and he ended up coming out and telling me oh yeah I underestimated you I'm like yeah a lot of people do look at me I'm a fucking string bean you know, but people... You're still happy. That, oh, I'm still happy. Still Hell happy. yeah. I live yeah. in Hawaii, bruh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My wife is a dime piece after fucking six kids, bruh. Wow. Stoked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether you're still talking to you, but there's talk. Um, if you do have two more fights, and there is talk about a, a UFC event in Hawaii, would you try and get on that? Or can you not because of your contract? I, mean, I don't know, depending on when. Depending on when, I would, but honestly, I would love mm -hmm. to. I have a, I'm in a contract, so I doubt I will be able to unless fucking Scott's like, oh, yeah, go, yeah, sublease them. And th that's if Dana wants me. Mm -hmm. th there's still that part. Um, but like I said, I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy with what I'm doing. I, I'm, uh, maybe that's bad that I'm comfortable. You know, maybe maybe I lost, I, I, I lost, you know. But... Have you learned a lot? You can pass. Are you going to pass MMA on to another generation? What do you? What, what's yeah. Your exit, yeah. What's your exit strategy? If you have one. Hilltop Construction, Lane Tile. <laughs> For you rich motherfuckers that buy million dollar houses on Maui, I do your tile. No, um, yeah, I'm, Are you uh, I'm a yeah, I'm a tiler. I, I, Roof? No, 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 no uh, floors. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I lay tile now, you, you know, I, that's my, I did roof him. That was my first job ever. Um, but no, I do tile now. My dad, that was my, my dad taught me that trade. He, he's done it forever. And then he was a merchant marine too. And then he went back to tiling. What about passing the sport on though? I will, I will. Uh, it's, it's impossible on Maui, man. It's so hard. Like if, it, but I, and I refuse to live in Honolulu. Nothing wrong with Honolulu, but I'm just like a country boy that likes a little bit of city and, Maui offers that to me, and like, I'm, I'm happy there. My wife's happy there. My kids love it there, uh, and, you know, you hear it all the time. When it, It's not about me anymore. It's about my kids, and like, I'm, honest, I'm honestly still doing this for my kids to make them proud, to lead by an example. All my kids, my, three old, my, four, uh, my oldest son, my two older daughters are heavily into soccer, uh, my son is baseball, diehard baseball, and my twins just got into soccer. They start wrestling this year. They're four, and uh, I give back by teaching the youth, our re youth wrestling team. One of my real good friends my whole life, Nickum Los Banos, uh, we, we run 808 wrestling. I teach the babies. He teaches the older kids. Um, no surfing in there, though, eh? No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Short breaks. <laughs> Big beach. No. Um, but... No, yeah, definitely. Uh, no, get me wrong. Like, uh, I don't want to do tiling forever. I would love to, my dream. My dream is to open a successful gym, teach kids and uh, self defense, more confidence in themselves. I used to get bullied. My, uh, I had an incident with my daughters getting bullied and um, teaching them to stand up for themselves and. Uh, and the one thing I see is just confidence. And like, honestly, fighting gave me the confidence to do, be myself, you know? Cause then I, what are you gonna do? I'll fucking kick your ass. But then it would never get to that point, but I just wasn't scared of judgment, you know? So I, I feel I can, and I see how I am with uh, younger kids wrestling, you know? I, and I love that. I love seeing kids succeed through whatever help I can, whether I help them a lot or less. As long as they're succeeding and they're representing what you're giving, oh, fuck, man, you win. 
you know, you win. Now getting paid for it and making a living, or, but it's remained to be seen. You know, uh, hopefully, hopefully I can find a place to have a gym again. I had one. It's really hard. Real estate, I'm always hard, and everything is just hard. On top of balance, that I don't like to blame, but like that was one of my downfalls in my UFC career because I opened the gym. I was still an active fighter, but I was an active coach, and it's a selfish sport. You got to give 100% mm -hmm. or nothing. That's why I was up here for two weeks. What fucking mother or wife would let their husband go with, and manage six kids and she's done it, like, for six weeks. When I fought Halsey, she did it. I'm like, fuck, I'll never leave you, babe. Whatever you want, it's yours, you know? But you need that support because you got to be selfish to succeed in the sport. And um, so I couldn't succeed in the gym. I had to give that up because I cared more about fighting. You know, I, I, wanted, I, I wasn't done with fighting. Now you ask me, still not done, but... Uh, one foot's kind of out the door. Uh, but I accept that. Like, I'm not afraid to say that. You know, a lot of guys, like I said, a lot of guys would give me shit for like, oh, why are you saying that? I'm like, why be fake, man? Why fucking lead people on anymore, you know? But I'm happy. I'm still, I still live in the dream, you know? And no one can take that away from me. I'm still the best fucking fighter to come out of Maui. Um, besides Nissan Austinet, good friend. Lolo Hea Mahe, good friend. Brandon Vischer. Good friend. And soon to be Riley Dutro. And Riley is, I think, he's fighting in Shuto, I think, uh, in Japan on Sunday. And he's going to be the next fucking Kendall Grove from Maui. But he's going to be Riley Dutro. You know what I mean? And he's going to elevate the level of MMA. So I'm happy. I'm happy. And he was one of my first students, too. So.